afternoon heat goes in. Tigre de Slugo loading. Credence coming forward. Goes in. Spendaholic comes up. Grandpa Louis to the outside gate, going forward. Grandpa Louis goes in, all set. And away they go. Oh, very awkwardly here was Credence and also Loafer's Boy. Loafer's Boy, Credence, awkward at the start. Afternoon heat is very fast, gets the lead. Corona in Le Mans races right there in second. Grandpa Louis on the far side, posties in the gold colours. Acapulco Bay is the grey, only three lengths off these leaders. Racing up alongside of those two comes Posty, and then we come back to Loafer's Boy and Credence. Into the turn they go, an afternoon heat down at the rail. Corona in Le Mans right up alongside. Grandpa Louis now goes looking for the lead, and Grandpa Louis will take the lead coming to the quarter pole. In behind those two is Tigre de Slugo trying to get involved. Posty on the inside, now losing ground since Spenderholic, and behind that, Loafer's Boy. Top of the lane, and Grandpa Louie gets the lead, kicks for home. Tigre de Sligo's running a big one on the outside as well. Afternoon Heat battles back at the rail. Afternoon Heat, Tigre de Sligo. Suddenly, Grandpa Louie not doing enough, and it's Tigre de Sligo. Tigre de Sligo to win it. Tigre de Sligo beat Afternoon Heat. Grandpa Louie faded to third. The unofficial result, the winner number three, Tigre de Slugo. Second number two, Afternoon Heat. Third number nine, Grandpa Louis. Fourth number eight, Spendaholic. And fifth number seven, Corona and Le Mans. The result is official.
Now in the compass, winner circle number three, Tigre de Slugo. He's a four-year-old chestnut colt by Smiling Tiger out of Erica's Smile. He's owned by Slugo Racing, Tiger Racing and Pipey. The winning trainer is Mike Pipey, whose assistant is Roll Ayers. The winning rider, Flavian Pratt. The winner was bred in California by Premier Thoroughbreds.